Nebraska's May primary is just around the corner, and election officials want to be sure that everyone has a chance to vote for the candidate or issue that concerns them most. But are the primaries just for registered Democrats and Republicans, or can nonpartisan voters cast a ballot? Producer Roger Hamer is on your side with the answer. There's sometimes a myth out there that independents or nonpartisans in the state of Nebraska cannot vote in a primary. That is not true. Douglas County Election Commissioner Brian Cruz says primary elections are not exclusively for Republicans and Democrats. He says there is an extra step for nonpartisan voters, and it can be a bit hectic and confusing. Nonpartisan voters will always receive a ballot for nonpartisan candidates, but there are other options. OPPD, the legislature, school boards, you know, things of that nature. Now, a nonpartisan has the option to request a nonpartisan partisan ballot or a nonpartisan congressional ballot. And so if a nonpartisan requests a nonpartisan Republican ballot, then the congressional races will be on there. It'll be Congress and the Senate the same way with the Democratic. Cruz says there is a big difference on the two parties' ballot. To go a step further, it's up to the parties in the state of Nebraska whether they want to allow other races on their ballots. So historically, the Republican Party has only allowed the congressional races on there. They don't allow races like the president and county board members or county offices because those are partisan offices. The Democrats have historically allowed all of those. And that may cause some confusion in a household where each nonpartisan ballot is requested. Oh, Cruz says the ballots office. will look different. <laughs> That's due to a function of the parties. We simply do as we're instructed. Cruz says those requesting nonpartisan ballots are busting a long-held myth, ensuring everybody's afforded the opportunity to vote. On your side, Roger Hamer, WOWT 6 News. And coming up tonight at 630, Roger looks into early voting and the safeguards in place to ensure every vote is counted. Iowa's